Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and we are taking a look at perhaps the future of bodybuilding. This is good Vito, Vitaly Yugolnikov. The first pitcher, of course, is from 2020. He won a, a show, and he is an IFBB elite athlete, and it is too darn bad that he is not in the, the pro league. Have him uh, stack up against the, the other dudes. The Nick Walkers, the Akeem Williamses, things of that nature. But anyway, guys, he just competed in a show. I believe it was called, oh gosh darn it, correct me if I'm wrong, the Big Pitter Sports Show. Big Pitter, Big Pitter Sports Show. Anyway, show in Russia, he won. And I was excited to see the improvements, question mark, or lack thereof. It looks like he has more polish last year it looks like he has more conditioning but overall size he could be coasting through these shows through these uh russian shows you know nobody really testing him and he's he's obviously he's winning these shows so we figured you know i don't need that condition that type of conditioning and he does look like he has more feathering in the quads things of that nature last year let us run through the poses the ones that we do have Thank you to Bodybuilders Without Borders for these pictures. Anyway, NPC News Online always helping me out as well with these pictures. Without them, without these photographers, things of that nature, us YouTube channels would not exist. Anyway, guys, you can see here in the midsection, pan back a little bit. And you can see the, the rib cage, the, the, va the, the vacuum pose a little bit more for last year. So could be a condition... Uh, a conditioning issue which is not really an issue when you think about it as long as he's winning these shows in the conditioning that he is in he's still putting on muscle turn to the side side chest development now this one was hard to it was obviously hard to size you don't get the full body but i think he is breathing here last year you can see his midsection looks looks like it's stuck out but i th i think that's his his breathing issue Let's go to a pan back one. Not the clearest in the world for 2020, just yesterday. Wow. He looks twice as thick. He did get some criticism from me, myself, in the side shots. He wasn't as dominating in those side shots as the front shots and the rear poses. But my, my, my. Is it just me or is improvement in the cards? For good Vito, Vitale, Yugunikov. And go to the side, sorry, go to the side tricep. Oh my soul. This one here, I definitely remember criticizing this pose. Looks like his display, even in the quads in this shot that is, look more separated. But as you can see from the front shots, the conditioning would say that you get more separation from feathering, things of that nature. But if he's putting on more muscle... On these side shots, you can really see that in the wheels. Not to mention the display, the tricep itself. So yes, yes, improvements, improvements, at least in some areas, side shots for sure. Turn around, and there you go, guys. He's definitely not in the condition that he was last year. So it's just a conditioning issue. You can see it right in the glutes. You can see the water. He's holding some water. Now, is it just me, or does his right trap, it looks like it's, I don't want to call it swollen, it looks like there's something going on there, I, I, I don't know, maybe you guys could let me know. Either way, his lat insertion might be creeping down a little bit lower, hard to say, hard to say. Go to the rear double by, just to see, uh, you know, and again, the conditioning, it just sticks out like a, a sore thumb, the glutes. And that's where that water does store hamstrings a little bit more peeled as well. And again, look at that right trap. Looks like it's swollen a little bit. Looks like there may be a little, little red spot there. What could that be? Lats look like they are creeping out a little bit more. Now, to the untrained eyes, lats look better last year. But add some more conditioning on that bark and his bark. Does look a little bit wider, if you ask me, that is. 
I can't get over that layer of water on those glutes. This is how you explain to somebody. Show them the, the badonkadonk on good vito. Say there's condition and there's about a month before or what have you. However long it takes to get rid of that layer of glute water. <laughs> and this is the absinthe. We'll finish off with this one. And he, he looks like he has a different ab makeup altogether. Gonna think this guy is a young buck. So he is changing. Hopefully he doesn't try to get in too big of a hurry. I like the color at the last year's show. It looks fantastic. It looks like a golden god. Now he looks like a red god also, but more reddish. More reddish. He looks very, very peeled last year. There, that's a normal way of saying peeled, if you can imagine that one. Quads, my soul, my soul. So, no, he's not improved as far as his stage ready polish and condition but is is he improving as a a horse for the future i would say yeah and those side shots really showed that he definitely did have some at least some improvements and maybe in the back as well let me know what you guys think about that trap that right trap anyway guys that's it i will keep you up to date on this man's competitive career for sure can't wait to see him stack up like i said against the, the nick walkers the akeem williams is all of them all of them anyway guys hit thumbs up subscribe to the channel and have a great day